Larry Stevens, is retiring after 20 years as Edmonds City Manager. During his last week, he packs away photos, awards, and even gifts from colleagues. This is really a very, very nice gift that was given to me by David Miller, and it is from the Highland Mint. It actually is uh, a Super Bowl ticket from the first Super Bowl uh, that featured Kansas City and Green Bay. Larry has always been a fan of Kansas City area sports because he is originally from that area. Prior to Edmond, he was the city manager of Pittsburgh, Kansas. Before that, he grew up and worked in Missouri. Larry and his wife Kay moved to Edmond in 2002 with their youngest daughter. And that's my wife Kay, our oldest daughter Amy, and our youngest daughter Allie. <laughs> and uh, it just, it's a great reminder for me of the sacrifices that the family goes through in the moves that we've had. And so I am so appreciative to our family that what they've done, especially Kay, it's a, it's a thankless job. And, uh, and she's been a huge part of these moves and we've enjoyed every community we've been in. Serving as a city manager for two decades in the same community is uncommon in local government. Historically, a city manager is only in position for three to five years. They, in order to get promoted, they have to move or they get relieved of duty. And the challenges that Edmund possessed for Larry for the past 20 years was enough to keep him here. The city of Edmund consists of 42 different departments whose duties range from picking up solid waste to inspecting construction sites to even providing sewing lessons at the MAC. As diverse as they are, departments must work together to provide dependable service to Edmund citizens. Larry has successfully encouraged city employees to work together, striving for continuous improvement. He is very reluctant to take any credit, though. These are not my accomplishments. These are things that have been accomplished when I was part of a group that helped accomplish it. Everything I'm going to talk about is, is a is a we concept, not an I concept. You never hear Larry talk about, I did this or I did that. Uh, it's the organization did this or, or we as a group did this. Larry is a very kind and humble leader. He's a leader that cares about people. He cares about employees. He's probably the employee's biggest advocate. He inspires people to do their best in whatever they do, and he's always acknowledging the good in people. He's a great listener. I think that's one of his truly great character traits. He's just a great listener. Um, he wants to hear what other people think about a particular issue. Uh, he listens to the various viewpoints, um, and then he's not afraid to make the decision. One initiative under Larry's leadership was to launch large meetings focused on continuous improvement. Department heads and management met together two or three times per year to discuss ongoing projects, to engage in functional exercises, and to share ideas over how the city could become better. We've worked hard on creating and maintaining, if you will, uh, a strong internal culture, service-based culture. It was all designed basically to make us better as an organization, improve our management functions, uh, break down silos between departments, and, and, and I think we've had a lot of success in that. I learned a lot from those sessions, uh, and it gave us an opportunity, I think it's just as much as important, was to help us build together as a team. Nothing made him more, got him more energized or excited than visiting with employees and hearing what was on their mind and hearing ways to continuously improve the organization or the city. Sometimes you have a, a, a boss or a leader that the employees do not want to talk to. They don't feel comfortable. From what I've sensed over the past 20 years, that everyone is very comfortable talking to him, and he's comf comfortable talking back to them. During this time as city manager, Larry has attended more than 500 city council meetings and workshops. He has been a part of the difficult decisions that come with a growing community. Still, he is able to look at those problems in a positive light. Land issues are the most contentious issues that we face in Edmond. And even though those result in a lot of strong feelings one way or the other, uh, those issues in my mind are, 
are preferable to having other issues like a stagnant economy or a high crime rate or a variety of other things. The growth that we've had in this city is what we've seen because Larry's been a part of that from the strategic plans that have been put in by the council and been implemented by city staff. Larry's been a part of that. What he's helped to do is set that foundation for that initial growth and for growth in the future. Through Larry's leadership, the city has formed partnerships with local groups like the Edmond Public Schools and even the YMCA. This has resulted in incredible amenities like the Mitch Park YMCA. Edmond Public Schools had a need for an aquatic center. Uh, the YMCA was looking to expand their program. They were, they, they needed a new, new facility uh, just to keep up with the growth of the community. And, but they had a certain amount of money, we had a certain amount of money, the public schools had a certain amount of money. Individually, if we tried to do those projects, we, we would have had much smaller facilities and wouldn't have had the synergy of the one combined facility. So we ended up getting more of a building, higher quality product for what we were able to produce by partnering. The city successfully partnered with Edmond Public Schools again to build Edmond Center Court, one of the top public tennis facilities in the country. Larry's always willing to listen to different ideas, and because he fosters that and makes the space for that, then you get, I think the community wins because you get bigger and better facilities and ones that people can really be proud of. Also proud that we have, we have begun to get serious about economic development. The goal is to create new economic activity so you have resources to be able to fund the, the nice things that you want in the community, the quality of life kinds of stuff, and also to fund the basics of health and safety. You want good, safe community that people can enjoy living in. We realize we're in a competition with other cities and especially because we're so overly reliant on sales tax. Uh, we have to grow, we have to grow economically. We've been fortunate that we've had several city councils in recent years that have understood that dynamic. Downtown has become a tremendous economic development hub for this community. <laughs> It's also become a destination and will become more of a destination for people in the future, for things to do in the evening and on weekends. As he settles into retirement, Larry Stevens plans to spend more time with his daughters and grandchildren. He is also leaving time to be spontaneous. Part of the, the, the fun of retiring is not necessarily having everything planned out. And so we'll see how that evolves and, uh, and, and how things go forward. But uh, sure have enjoyed uh, uh, the Edmond community, the city of Edmond organization, the people that we work with every day. That's, that's the most energizing part of my job. It really is. And, and we're fortunate to have that and have been again very blessed by that.